I stepped foot in a car about eight years old. Most of my friends always tease me. They always say that racing, all you have to do is turn left. It's a lot more than that. You have to know how to move quick. If like there's a wreck in front of you, you got to know how to get from the back to the front, which was pretty hard to learn for me. It's not that easy than just turning left. The uh, very first time you ever went out there, um, hearts just just beaten, and uh, I think you're uh, juiced up more than what actually the kids are. Uh, even today, uh, five years later, he'll go out on the track. But when he goes out there, uh, my heart's just uh, just you know pounding, pounding. Which you know, a concerned parent, you know. I know people think we're kind of crazy for doing something like this, but I know he's he's safe in that car. Um, with that roll cage on it and everything, I'm very comfortable. I mean, we get nervous when we see him. You know, you want him to win and you want him, you know, you never know what's going to happen when you put him out there on that track. He's out there with a bunch of other kids and they're on their own. You can't do anything about it, so. <laughs> they all want to be NASCAR drivers, you know that. It's tough, you know, it's one in a million shot. Hey, if one kid from here can make it, that'd make my life perfect just about. Uh, this is a junior uh, sportsman champ. Uh, it's got a five horsepower Briggs racing motor on it. It runs uh, about uh, up to nine, ho nine to ten horsepower is where it's um, uh, blue prated at. Uh, five point harness. Uh, everything is all, like I said, safety. Uh, it's a uh, smaller wheelbase. On this track here, they'll run probably anywhere between 60 to 70 miles an hour. Tell me a little bit about racing in Chicago. Is it growing? Is it getting more popular? Do you have more fans contacting you, more parents to get involved in these races? Yes, it's starting to grow with the development of Joliet Speedway. And we're seeing an increase in the late model and stock cars on Friday nights now more, more of the USAC sprint cars on Saturday nights, the growth in the legend car series. So I have it's improved, I'd say 20, 30% over the last year. How important is it to have your parents here helping you? Uh, it's real important. I have them here to uh, calm me down if like there's something going wrong with my car. Basically make sure that we got all the drinks and the food and kind of do a checklist before we leave and uh, just make sure the kids got their sunscreen and I'm, I'm the support person, I guess. Give me a financial investment for parents who are thinking about entering the racing scene. Uh, depending on the classification, you know, a beginner class go-kart like this one right here next to us is a, you know, a, a $1,500 investment. That's a three to or that's a five to seven year old class. You get into one like my son's car behind us, the 21 car. That's a used 3,000, 5,000 new, you know. Legend cars, mini cup cars, a brand new legend car is about 11 or $12,000, you know. So you get a late models, 20, $30,000. So it's at all a stepping stage, you know, and how much you want to spend and how much, how devoted you want to be to the sport. It's getting expensive more and more every day, um, like everything else is. Um, I think what his goal is is uh, maybe midgets is what he's looking at. He, we, uh, we've looked at the stock cars and other th uh, other cars uh, that's got you closed in, but he kind of likes to be open. So we're looking maybe towards the open wheel cars, you know, uh, outlaws, sprints, midgets, maybe RL, you know.